What is going on everyone? Thank you for joining. Welcome to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Right off the bat, if you guys would be so kind as to please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Alright, and my laptop is... All set. We are all good. All right. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Ron Hornaday's 2010 Talladega flip in the then Craftsman Truck Series. Pulling up the preview so you guys can take a look at the replay if you are unfamiliar. If you want to take a look at the bottom left hand corner of your screen. So with about four, three or four laps to go, coming out of the trial bowl, cars start getting together, Hornaday gets backwards, gets upside down, slides on his roof for about five, ten seconds or so, and then he hits the banking and the apron going into turn one, and that causes him to flip a few more times before he comes to rest on his roof. By the way, thanks to NASCAR All Out for the capture. Here we get an aerial shot of it, and you can see Hornaday on the left-hand side go up and over. Just a classic blow-over. Slides on his roof for a little bit, then he, when he hits that banking, tumbles a few more times. Here we have one more replay. And once again, I apologize in advance, like all my other streams this week, if I'm very nasally more than usual, because I'm still sick. It's not nearly as bad as it was like a few days ago, but it's still very stuffy. Luckily, it didn't take too many, like, any really hard hits. When he went upside down, it kind of landed as gently as possible, I guess, all things considered, when it came down the roof, and then it slid for a little bit, and the tumbles weren't too hard. Hornaday was fine. All right, back into the game. Here we have his 2010 Easy Go number 33. Chevy. Is that the Silverado? Yep. Thanks to Elite Paint Designs for the scheme. Alright. Pig Streak. This wasn't that Pig Streak. Alright. Watch Talladega. Do I want to use... Try revamp to see what the settings are set at. Uh oh. The temperature is normal. That's not good. Well, we'll try one attempt first. But I know I'm not going to be uh, going fast enough to get airborne. So if I remember correctly, Hornaday was up near the front. Well, I should remember, I just saw the replay two seconds ago. So I'll just get somewhere up around here. We will go a full lap around, and then coming out of the tri-oval at the end of lap one. I'll start causing a little chaos, and then I'll try to spin myself sideways and see if I can go up and over and see what happens going into turns one. I think I might need to exit out of the game in a few attempts and adjust some settings mainly to help with the blow over itself because I'm pretty sure with the Craftsman Truck Series mod is with the CTS physics I'm not going to be going fast enough to do a blow over with the roof laps on with the normal track temperature settings. Alright. Why am I on the Directional shifter. I want the paddle shifters. I am using the the car set I'm using right now. I basically took from the uh, 
2010 Elite Paint Designs car set. And then I took out most of the trucks that weren't in that pack that we saw in the replay. It's not perfect. It's going to be a few errors. Alright, so we're going about 185, 190. Let's see if that's fast enough to do a blowover right now. A little bit. Got a little bit airborne, but I was nowhere close to going over. Except right there. Holy crap. Arca brakes much, people? Jesus. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna... I don't think I even have my roof laps on. I think I had them turned off a while back and forgot to turn them back on. Luckily, the number 13 just drilled the the bed part of the truck. So if that was a real-life accident... Bam. I thought I hit... I thought he hit the roof at first. Alright, so we are gonna exit out right away. I'm going to go into my tracks and turn the temperature up right away, or down. Just a few settings. Alright. Tracks. Shoot, which revamped was I using? I need to get rid of a track or two to make some room. Get rid of Langhorn. can't remember if it was 2009 that was the one I was using. Nope, it wasn't. But... I think we should be good. I'm gonna adjust this one and the other revamped because I can't remember which one was actually loaded in the game. About the same settings. 145. Whoa! They're gonna melt! 1,400 degrees. <laughs> Alright, let's see... If that gets us anywhere. Should be a lot easier to do a blowover now. Shoot, except I wanted to turn roof laps back on. Alright, which Talladega revamp do we have? Let's try 2009. I don't know why I was using the other one. I think the other one is 2008, actually. Drivers, start your engines! Start your engines! Oh. Donnie Neuenberger. Is that THE Donnie Neuenberger? The Dover Roll, Donnie Neuenberger. God oh, damn it, I forgot to update the description before I started. I knew I was forgetting something. I'll try to remember after I'm done streaming. Right, so hopefully it's a lot easier to do a blowover now. I know I only really gave myself one chance before, but I could just tell it wasn't going to be very good.
All right, since the temperature is so low, hopefully I don't spin out on the restart. Or on the start, I should say. Try to ease into the accelerator. All right, I can get back up front. I almost spun on the start, that's why I was so slow. Perfect. We're going a little bit faster, but it's nothing like excessive or unheard of for Talladega. Like low 200s. No! <sighs> Darn it. Well, I'll try not to spin out in the turn next time. That was a cool wreck, though. That was did a blow over on the banking of the turn. All right, I'll try that again. Drivers, start your engines. <sighs> Didn't mean to do that. Alright, I'm going to get a little bit of head start in front of them this time. That last wreck almost reminded me of Tony Stewart in 2012 a little bit. Except it wasn't nearly as big of a pileup, just the airborne part. care that I'm going to get black flagged because it doesn't matter because I'm hopefully going to be upside down within one lap anyway. out this time. I'll wait for them to catch up, or I'll let them catch up, so if I get a good attempt, I can cut into the replay right in turns three and four, or just in the tri -oval. Try to start wrecking some trucks. No, that's not good. Jesus. I did not mean to do that. Pretty sure I killed the pace truck driver, that other driver, myself, and probably a few spectators. <laughs> oh, damn. Whoopsies. Damn. That was a good test for the damage for this mod. Looks good. Alright, we'll try that again. I might, after this attempt, if I... I'm continuing to have trouble. I might make a few more setting tweaks.
Actually, no, that's right. I'm going to get in front of them. So I can give myself a little bit of leeway in case I spin my tires a little bit on the start from the lowered temperature, making the track all slick and whatnot. Try not to get four wide before we get to the end of the trial bowl this time. I think that was my downfall last time. Yeah, I gotta let these guys catch up so I can get at least a few cars in front of me, or trucks, sorry. So I know Hornaday wasn't in first, but he was near the front. Alright, so I guess I'll try to turn Carmichael, then maybe hopefully get clipped by the 84. That yellow truck is behind me. Whoops. <sighs> Jesus, how'd those guys get through with those Arca brakes? I messed that one up. I think I need to turn my grip up a little bit. Because with the lowered track temperature, I can't turn another truck without it just me sp without it just spinning me out more. See, so yeah, I need to turn the grip up a little bit. I also want to turn the roof laps back on. That was closer to like Ben Kennedy's 2014 crash. Except a little bit closer down the or further down the trioval. Was that 2013 or 14? I cannot remember. But, you're gonna change some settings right away. Hopefully make it a little bit easier for me to get this one. Alright, and you're going right back into here. Oh wait, no. I want to use 2009 actually. Revamp 2009. Or something like up a little bit. What else did I want to? I was going to change something else, but I can't remember. I know roof flaps, but what else was I going to change? I think that's it. Oh yeah, I was going to turn. The Since I'm turning my grip up, I'm turning theirs down just ever so slightly. Alright, loading the game back up. Oh yeah, roof laps. Roof laps. I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, roof laps are back on, and the game is loading back up. Thank you everyone whom I have just recently joined in. As you can see by the title, I'm attempting to recreate Ron Hornaday's 2010 Talladega Craftsman Truck Series. Roll over, blow over, flip, roll, whatever you want to call it. Turn that down just a little bit. Alright, so I turned the grip up a little bit to give myself a little bit of control because I was having con trouble controlling my truck from the lowered track temperature making the track super slick. And then I also turned my roof flaps on so I won't go too in eh, won't go flying too high. Well, that'll do. It's a nice, simple blow over on my roof. Go sliding a little bit. Hit the bank in and turns on turn one. And voila. Yeah, shut up. Actually, you know what? I'm done, buddy. I'm done with you. I don't want to hear it anymore. I 
once again, I'm starting in front of them just so I can make sure I don't spin out when getting up to speed without them all passing me. Alright, looks like I have a little bit more control. But it's not too high to where I'll go just tumbling from the weight shift the second I get sideways. And that should help with my tumbles, actually, if I, or once I hit the banking and go back onto my wheels. Turning the grip up just a little bit. Whoa, that was close. Must get side draft. So I guess like last time, I'll try turning Carmichael. It's like right around here. Doing some flipping. Darn it. Yeah, I did flip from a weight shift. Jeez. Nice brakes. Bodine and Amarola. Carmichael accidentally, yeah, he sent me the wrong way into the outside wall. I started flipping, and then I got drilled by Amarola and then Bodine. I think Amarola was just trying to help. He wanted to flip me over and help me with the reenactment. Jeez. Alright. I'll try to spin. An AI car, except I will try not to have them spin me the wrong way. I think I lost too much speed, too, by the time I got spun around. That's also why I didn't flip up and over. want Nissan to join a NASCAR. What if NASCAR just had an all-European division or just BMW, Mercedes, Jaguar, Ferrari? <laughs> That'd be badass. Except it wouldn't even be NASCAR at that point. It'd just be like a touring car series. get a blow over this time. I'm going to turn the 95. That was quite possibly the lamest crash ever. That's why I don't like doing wrecks that involve other cars. I like single car crashes, or single car incidents, single car saves, single car reenactments in general. And we have a disgruntled Ron Hornaday going the wrong way on the track. Except I only got a single truck in that. Holy buzzkill.
We need Pontiac. Gonna have to remake Pontiac a company again before it can come back into NASCAR. Oh yeah, before I forget, later tonight I will also be streaming another Can I Recreate due to popular request. Tonight's Can I Recreate will be... I will be trying to recreate the 2003 Aaron's 499 Big One slash Ryan Newman two-wheel crash. The wreck where the footage was lost on YouTube until like the early 2010s. I have it already scheduled, so you can go check that out. Make sure you hit set reminder. I'm not right in the lead. Let's see what I can do here. So I have to spin a car first. Nope. Oh, there's the big one, though. They all started wrecking in turn two from another car that spawned. Truck, sorry. I need to stop getting spun to the outside wall. That keeps happening inadvertently. I'm not doing that on purpose. But yeah, let's see the cause of this wreck. The 46 initially got sideways. How did he not flip? See the ride he took over the 47 and 13 truck. Oops. Didn't mean to hit fast forward. You know, what does ride the 46 takes? 18 goes completely underneath him. Alright, sorry, one more time. One more angle. And I'll get back to trying the reenactments. Somehow able to keep going. Oh, he almost got hit by craft in there. Damn, that was a crazy view. Ah, stupid stuffy nose. So, I need to be able to spin a car to the outside, but not also send myself to the outside as well. I need to send a car spinning to the outside, while hopefully simultaneously getting hooked by another truck behind me that sends me to the inside. might, after a few more failed attempts, I might have to resort back to turning roof flaps off just for the 
sake of trying to help me with this reenactment. And we are three wide on the outside right here. God knows if I didn't. Four wide, holy crap. We are still four wide. Oh, there they go. And once again, I didn't even mean to get turned to the outside. Someone just clipped me. God damn it. I'll see this replay of us going four wide. I'm glad I wasn't in the middle of that. Where'd all the other trucks go? There's like 15 or 16 in this. Should be in this pack. Alright, I'll try one more time and then I'll... I'll go back to changing a few things around. I think I inadvertently caused that because me moving down into the middle lane once I cleared that outside truck kind of made the other cars behind me shift to the left a little bit too and then that one guy did and got clipped by the person behind him. been my biggest problem so far this video is trying to get that initial truck to spin to the outside without actually spinning myself into the outside wall as well but when you have the track temperature turned down so high your truck becomes very slick for the track surface I should say For some reason those trucks in the back aren't getting a big jump so I'm gonna try to block everyone a little bit just so those trucks in the back can kind of catch up and be part of this pack a little bit better. Even though there's still like three that are back there. Alright, so I'm gonna try to hook the two truck and simultaneously get turned by the 84. Holy shit. <laughs> huh. Well, that's if his wreck was way worse, I guess. If instead of just doing a simple blow over, he instead drilled the inside wall to send him upside down and then got blasted by another truck. That actually wasn't looking too bad though until I got a little bit too... Because I was a little bit too uh, side by side to the 84, if I would have been a little up further in front of him, he could have spun me around faster and that might have uh, sent me with less momentum into the inside wall. But holy crap, what a wreck. Let's take a look at a TV view of this. Here we go. In that 47, the truck that drilled me got absolutely destroyed himself, too. Is the 47 Neuenberger? I believe it is. I want to see that wreck through his view, though. 47. Here we go. Alright, so let's see what let's see what Donnie Boy saw on that one. He couldn't really see much, the the roll bar on the left side of the windshield is kind of blocking the it was like the blind spot. Almost. Blocked the view. A little bit of the truck coming. 
We're flying back up into the... In front of him. Sorry, I know I'm being annoying with all these. Extra views I want to see. I just want to see what this looks like from the roof cam. And he gets drilled right there. A couple times. I guess you could call that the big one. Alright, so that attempt wasn't half bad if I could have gotten spun by that 84 truck a little bit quicker. But he was right behind the number 2 truck that I was trying to hook to the outside wall, so there wasn't much space for me to spin that 2 truck and also have a decent enough room to get in front of the truck that was behind him. change any settings yet just because that last attempt before it went catastrophic gave me a glimmer of hope that I could actually spin a car and then also get spun by another spin a truck and also get spun by another one behind me to send a Hornaday spinning in about the direction he did in real life oops a little kiss into the wall, no big deal. Alright, so same thing except with the 60 this time. How the hell do you pronounce that 60 truck driver's last name? Parthikian? Ah, I guess that's it. I'm going to try to turn the 60, but also try to get in front of the 84 and have him turn me. Oh, into the outside wall once again. Jesus. So many hard wrecks. That one was even worse than the last time, if you ask me. Alright, so this spin is looking good. But right about here is, I need to be able to get a little bit more in front of the truck that's second in line. Because just getting together side by side right there, that's taken me more into the inside wall than it is just spinning me around quickly. Let's see a replay of that one. It's the 47 truck every time that hits me. Every time. Damn, I didn't even see the 84. There's three trucks that rolled over in that one. Try that again. I need to be able to spin the car that's in front of me, but also have enough room to get to the car that's behind me. X-Race, do Slinger. Of course I know where Slinger is. If someone can find me a version of Slinger Super Speedway for this game, that doesn't crash every five seconds, I would love to do Slinger, but I have two versions, the 2015 Day and Night, and both of them just crash the game, like within five seconds of a... like a race session. I need 
spin the car that's in the front. I'll also have enough room to get in front of the guy that's behind him so he can spin me fairly quickly as opposed to us just getting hooked side by side and having me fly into the inside wall like that's happened the last two attempts. What are you doing, stupid cat? What? I'm trying to slow that 64 down a little bit. I'm trying to like almost make it look like I'm moving up into his line. Alright, perfect. Right here, I'm gonna turn the 60. Oh, damn it, I missed. Oh, maybe. Nope. I mean, in all honesty, it's probably the closest I've gotten yet that isn't saying much. But yeah, definitely not a keeper. I tried to get... I tried to get back in front of that 84 in time, but by the time I started to turn back left, he was already kind of alongside of me a bit more than I wanted him to be. Like right here I started turning left but he was already alongside of me. I need him still to be a little further back so I can just kinda get my bumper clipped and get spun really quickly as opposed to having the spin momentum carry me into the inside wall like that. I mean technically I did a blowover and technically I landed on my roof in about the right spot but Everything else during the process was kind of off. Surprised Hornaday didn't get stuck in the fence there. That was almost looking like AJ Almendinger's. Almonding Nongs flip a little bit. In 2010, I believe. Is it 2010 or 11? Well, except AJ didn't hit the fence, he just bounced off the wall in a similar spot over there. Little fun fact, the last race ever held at uh, Milwaukee Mile for the Craftsman Truck Series was either 2009 or 2010. Whichever year it was, Ron Hornaday won the race. I just so happened to be there. I got a kind of crappy photo of him crossing the start-finish line, taking the checkered flag. Little did I know at that race that would be the last ever Truck Series event ever. I believe that was the same year that was the last nationwide event there too and they've had a few indie events there since but it's otherwise just been autocross random events and just withering away it's a shame I love that track it's gonna be abandoned in 10 years watch no That was an accident. You know what I was trying to do? I was trying to bump the 95. Oh, he got me back good. So then I could get in front of the 84, slow him down a little bit, then I could have room to spin the 95 and also room to get just barely have my back end clipped by the 84 when the 95 came back up. He gave me a good dose of karma. Try that again. Although that was me, I also kept drifting way down even well after I bumped him out of the way, so that was, that was my fault too. Well, of course it was my fault, I was the one that started it, but...
Are people debating the realism of NR2003? Yeah, but people don't understand that most tracks on this game, cars aren't flipping. I think Ian said it perfectly. All the crash comps you see, it's people trying to cause wrecks on purpose and taking the best, most spectacular ones and editing the track settings and crap. How dare you discredit the realism of this sim. Well, I suck at driving and the game lets me know, reminds me every chance it gets, like that last attempt, so... That aspect's realistic right there. Alright, Matt Crafton. Need to do part two to your flip at Daytona earlier this year. Alright, so I'm gonna try to do what I tried last time, except I'll try not to wreck myself. Alright, there we go. Shoot. Stupid crafting. Jeez. What's up with the Arca brakes, guys? I was too... I had too much of my uh, fender hooked into crafting, so it sent me sideways as well. Darn it. I need to go to the inside wall. Or to the inside, not the outside. Jeez, those people destroyed crafting in that last attempt. Do I use traction control? No, I do not. Here's what my settings are like right now. All this are off. Here's my force feedback stuff. And I'm not going to recalibrate this, but yeah, that's basically... Here's what my settings are at right now. No driving aids, except I do have the grip turned up a little bit, so I guess I kind of... is a little cheap way of having traction control, but... I'm doing that for the sake of the reenactments. Whenever I'm doing races, I never cheat, which is explains why all my race videos I ever try to do usually end in a DNF. <laughs> Alright, so slowly but surely I'm developing a method of what I need to do to try to get this one. I just think I might be running out of time for this video. Need to do a few things in a little bit, get some dinner, finish a few errands, and I'll be streaming again in three hours. Spin the first car, then get hooked by the second car. Hooked on phonics. Must side draft. Just got bullying craft in that time over and over. Damn, you gotta love the damage for this. Craftsman Truck Series 09 mod. Watch Crafton right here. Hits gets hit by me, gets hit there, and then Bam, another one right into the fender. For good measure. Excuse me, I'm gonna blow my nose real quick.
Well, there's not too much time left in the stream, but I still didn't want to spend the next five to ten minutes having to decide whether I want to be breathing through my mouth or if I have to have a huge nasty phlegm inhale through my nose and sniffle every five seconds. I have an idea. At the end of this video, I'm gonna do a big one, but not the wrong way like I usually do. I'm gonna use this track, I'm gonna get all 42 trucks in a roster, and I'm gonna try to just go through the trial level and almost like Carl Edwards myself and see how big of a pile up I can cause that way. So hopefully I have room to spin craft in. I'll also be able to squeeze in behind the 80... In front of the 84 truck, I should say. No, nope, I don't think it's happening. I'll try the 60. God damn it! Nothing's going right for me in this one. Thanks, Bush. <sighs> Jesus. I'd say about 50% of these ones have just been complete fails. Alright, guys, unfortunately, as you guys can see, the time is ticking away. It's nearing the top of the hour. It's probably the third to last attempt. By the way, complete random question, would you guys be interested in me doing more Redline GTP mod videos? Even some can I recreate ones if I can find a moment or a paint scheme worth recreating? Did I say that right? <laughs> a moment worth re recreating and if I can find the proper paint schemes for said moment. I was thinking since I have an 80s IMSA car set for the GTP mod, I was thinking about maybe, and they have the Riverside that comes in that track, I was thinking about maybe doing that infamous 1986 IMSA Riverside Raceway wreck, where those three cars went three wide, and that one dude made a way too aggressive mood, mood, move try to fly through on the inside and said he clipped the other two cars and all three went flying into that inside wall and a couple flipped over there's that huge fire just look up IMSA Riverside crash and you'll see what I'm talking about oh Every time I try to spin a car to that outside wall, it spins me too. But you'd think I could have that issue fixed by turning the grip up, but I already have the grip turned up to a point where I'm like flipping over if I spin sideways at the right momentum. Ugh, stupid, uncooperative AI and trucks handling my sucky driving. Just angry at everything. <laughs> That's right, it's called Imza or whatever.
Imza. Sorry. No. Jesus. You gotta be shitting me. Alright, I don't care. I'm still trying with this attempt. I don't even care if my truck is a little bit damaged from that. How does something like that happen? I just get loose in the turn at the pace lap and spin out. And things like that, but then if I'm spinning sideways at the right angle with how much the grip's turned up, I'll flip right over. I'll, I have no idea. to slow everyone down a little bit to get the pack bunched back up a little bit better. Ricky Carmichael. Scan, I got spun to the outside wall. Jesus Christ, if I had a dollar. For every time that's happened this stream, I would have like $30. <sighs> Hopefully I have more luck with the Ryan Newman wreck. See, here's the thing. I could easily get Ron Hornaday's blowover. I could easily just go to the front of the pack, turn myself, get the blowover, get a few tumbles, voila. But then, you and I and everyone else knows that I would hear constant bitching in the comments about how all the AI wrecking wasn't perfect and how, oh, that was only a soul car wreck, there was other people piling up in real life. You guys know. Trying to get as accurate as possible, and sometimes it means if I'm trying to get every single detail, I'm not necessarily going to get a perfect attempt within an hour of tries every single time. And in a way, that's kind of what makes my videos exciting, if you think about it. Because even if you see an hour-long video, I could have gotten a good attempt, but I'm just trying to get better ones. And you don't know if I've gotten it or not, because I have a lot of follow-up parts. And you get to watch it live. Along with me while I'm trying to make it happen. And unlike that, uh... That clutch guy for Madden, who these videos are kind of inspired from. Kind of a NR 2003 equivalent of Clutch's videos. He usually gets all of them and has them all edited down into like a little 10 minute video. All his attempts are all edited and then he has the best one at the end. And he usually gets it more often than not. Mine are a mystery. You don't know if I'm going to get the... Get whatever I'm trying to reenact or not. Until you watch it. Or until I have a finished reenactment posted before you even see the live version. Trying to slow down the second place car so I could get in front of him, and once again that happens. I don't think I am... I'm, I'm not gonna get a better... I'm not gonna get a better one in one more attempt. I think that's kind of a... Once again, it was the 43, or the, sorry, the 47 that nailed me while I was flipping. Well, I did change my mind about one thing. Still gonna cause a wreck. Why do I have not have any car sets for the other years? <clears throat> Excuse me. Except, I am still going the wrong way this time. I don't have the patience to go the right way this time. I'm going the wrong way and try to get all 43 GD trucks involved. <sighs> it's one downside to these trucks. 
They're awesome to race with, but what those, those CTS physics, it's hard to get a blow over without manipulating a bunch of settings, and when you manipulate the, all those settings to try to get a blow over on command, then it makes the car really hard to control, especially makes the AI way more uncooperative, etc., etc. So like I'm always begging for, if you guys wouldn't mind, please hit, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy my videos and want to see more, if you hit subscribe and you can get notifications for future videos and live streams. If I schedule one, then you can hit the set reminder button. You guys know how it works. You guys aren't new to YouTube. I don't have to tell you what to do. Alrighty. See you guys on the other side. Hopefully they don't wreck before they come back around. So many beautiful trucks. About to be destroyed. They have no idea what's hap about to happen to them. off at a good point. Should be getting them rise that are coming out of the turn. Not all, but definitely most. Didn't quite get all, but I definitely got most. <laughs> and I was worried because there was that one lone truck that kind of got a little bit of a lead so I was worried if I hit him I was gonna deflect off and like miss everyone else but I hit him at like the perfect angle to just stop dead in my tracks and stay in front of the whole pack look at that guy wonder what he's thinking or this guy All right, let's get a spectator view wider view of that And as Bruce Almighty would say, that is the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Damn. What a wreck. Alright guys, thank you very much for joining. Or watching, I should say. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, check out my social media links in the description. My social media pages for an anti-social person like me. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope to catch you guys at the next stream. Until then, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace. Bye.